Hi again, welcome to our fourth Embarcade Dev C++ video tutorial. In this session, you will learn how to develop dynamic link library with C programming language. Then we will utilize the dynamic link library from our another C console application. Dynamic link libraries are one of the most useful kinds of Windows components. You can utilize them as a way to share code and resource and to shrink the size of your applications. Moreover, dynamic link libraries are helpful to make it easier to service and extend your applications. So if you have not watched our third video tutorial about static link libraries, be sure to check out. In this tutorial, we will create a simple DLL that has a simple hello world function. Then you'll create a console app that uses the function from the DLL. So um, let me briefly talk about DLL first. DLL is not a standalone executable. DLLs run in the context of the applications that call them. The operating system loads the DLL into an application's memory space. It's done either when the application is loaded, this is implicit linking, or on demand at runtime, which means explicit linking. Also, multiple applications can access the contents of a single copy of a DLL in memory at the same time. Furthermore, you should know the differences between dynamic linking and static linking and the difference between applications and the dynamic link libraries. So, static linking copies all the object code in a static library into the executables that use it um, when they are built. Dynamic linking includes only the information needed by Windows at runtime to locate and load the DLL that contains a data item, like functions or resources. And for it comes to differences between application and DLL is that you can't run a DLL. And an application can have multiple instances of itself running in the system simultaneously. A DLL can have only one instance. Furthermore, the uh, application can be loaded as a process. It can own things such as a stack, um, threads of execution, global memory, file handling, and a message queue. DLL cannot own these things. So, dynamic linking to code and resources offers several advantages over static linking. If we discuss about them, we can spend several hours for that. Let me simply emphasize various advantages of using DLLs. Dynamic linking saves memory saves disk space and the bandwidth. Maintenance, security fixes, and upgrades can be easier with DLLs. All right, so now let's start building our DLL. So go to File, New, Project, select C, and select DLL, Dynamic Link Library, and then give it a project name, My DLL. Click OK, and save the project file. Okay, let me finish this dll.header file. This is going to be our blueprint for our dynamic link library. So, okay, now we can implement these hello and hello world functions in the dll main file. Now our two functions are implemented. Before compiling this source code, we have to add stdio.header file for using sprintf and printf. Okay, um, we can save now and I click compile here. As you can see, we got my DLL dynamic link library. As you can see, there is our output. All right, um, the next part of this tutorial is building an, another C console application that utilizes this a dynamic link library. So let's copy this. Okay, so go to file, new, project, console application, select C, and I'm going to give DLL runner the project name, click OK, and save your DLL runner project here, and also save this main.c source code. There we go. Now we, we have to paste the my DLL dynamic link library to this project folder. 
as you can see, these are our DLL run of project files. I'm going to paste my mydll.dll here. All right. Now let's implement the main part. All right, now let's compile and run this application. There we go. As you can see, our console application is now using our my DLL dynamic link library. So thank you for watching and see you in the next Embarkado Dev C++ video tutorial.